Hi, I'm Todd Monavidi of Madison Gas and Electric. Welcome to the O'Brien Solar Fields. So these are the panels at O'Brien. Uh, the, the cells themselves are this small module right here. These are photovoltaic cells, so these will take the sunlight, the photons from the sun, and convert them into electricity. Because these panels are bifacial, they can produce energy from both sides of the panel. So the top side has a solar cell on it, the bottom side has a solar cell on it. The sun uh, can reach the back of the, the solar panel and produce energy from the back of the solar panel. The panels are connected in series uh, to create a string of panels. There are 30 panels in a string. The panels are on a torque tube. The torque tube is the, the piece that runs along the center here. The torque tube allows the panels to track the sun throughout the day. So they'll start out flat in the morning, then they'll track to the east as the sun starts to come up. They'll follow the sun to the west, and then late in the day, they'll go back to flat again. By doing that, we can collect more energy from the sun. Each of the motors that are positioned on the torque tube have a controller associated with them. The controller receives information from master controller. The master controller knows where the sun is throughout the day. So it tells the controller where to position the torque tube and the panels throughout the day. If it's really windy out, the controllers will sense that wind and they'll move the panels towards the direction of the wind to protect the panels from uh, the strong winds. There's snow sensors here as well, so if we get a lot of snow, it'll sense that and it'll tip the panels to dump the snow. Then they also will uh, collect sunlight from the back of the panel, which helps the panel to heat up and causes the snow to slide off more quickly. So the panels are strung together in series to create a string of panels then each row has multiple strings of panels and then multiple rows come together in a combiner box. The combiner box brings the power from the, all those strings together into one location and then from the combiner box we go back to the inverter. The panels produce DC voltage and current. DC voltage and current is a steady voltage and a steady current. The inverters convert the DC current and DC voltage into AC voltage and current. AC voltage and current alters at 60 times per cycle. AC current and voltage is what is used on our electric distribution system. We're near the inverters. The inverters are the devices that convert the DC electricity into AC electricity. Next to the inverter is the transformer. The transformer increases the voltage to our distribution voltage, which serves the rest of our customers. The transformers produce medium voltage electricity, which comes together at our junction in box. The junction box takes the power from all three transformers and brings it into the breaker. The breaker is just like your breaker at home. It protects the site from events that might occur out on the distribution system and protects the distribution system from events that might occur on our site. This is the meter. It keeps track of the amount of energy that we produce at the site. So this is the equipment that allows us to monitor and control the site. There are sensors that monitor wind speed, wind direction, amount of light, and whether or not there's snow in the area. Solar arrays don't require a whole lot of maintenance. The maintenance pretty much is maintaining the vegetation below the panels, monthly checks of the system. But other than that, for the most part, the system takes care of itself. We created a pollinator habitat underneath the panels that protect the soil from erosion. At the end of the project, the soil will be returned to a condition that's better than it was when we first built the project. I'm proud to have been a part of this project. It was a, the biggest project we've built so far for MG&E. This is an important project for MG&E and our net zero carbon goals.